The aluminum sulfate hydrate contains 8.1% aluminum by mass. Calculate X, that is, the number of water molecules associated with each aluminum sulfate unit. Okay, so let's just start off by adding up all of the masses of the atoms associated with each one of these, not molecules here, this would just call these units. This is an ionic compound with water molecules attached. So, okay, we've got for aluminum, we've got two aluminum atoms. Atomic weight of aluminum is 26.982. So we typically write this as the molar mass in grams per mole, but in this case, we could just put it as AMU, right? Remember, these values here of the elements correspond to two separate properties of that element, the atomic mass and the molar mass. Typically, we're using the molar mass, but in this case, we could just use strictly the mass. Okay, now sulfur, we've got three sulfur atoms, atomic weight 32.06. 96.18. Okay, now oxygen, atomic weight 15.999. So that's 15.999. And then there's 12 plus X oxygen atoms. So okay, now hydrogen, atomic weight 1.008. And there's 2X hydrogen atoms. So Okay, now let's add all of these atomic masses up to get the total mass of one of these units. So, 342.132 plus, and then, okay, so this is the total mass of one of these aluminum sulfate hydrate units. So, what can we do with this? Well, it tells us that, so if we take the, the total mass of aluminum in one of these units, which we have, the total mass of aluminum is 53.964, and divide that by the total mass of one of these units, which is this, then we're going to get, because it's 8.1% aluminum by mass, we're going to get 0 0.081. So we just need to solve this equation for X. So, okay, we've got this times X plus this. Now take 53.964 and divide it by this. Okay, so now we want to solve, take all of this and set it equal to 0.081. And we want to solve this for x, 17.99, so 18. x is equal to 18. 